Mark Ganser with EAC, Product Development Solutions. What I wanted to talk about today is the pattern option in Creo Parametric. You've got a trade-off of speed versus power that I'd like to explain. You see the pattern option in the pattern dashboard. Under the options tab, you can see you've got general, variable, and identical. Well, what do those mean? Pretty simple. The more power you put into a pattern, the slower it'll be to regenerate. Identical will take each instance, make it geometrically equal, and create them that way. Variable, you get a little more power to it. Instances can, in a sense, fall off the model. General, you've got the most power of all. Uh, the instances can bump into each other. They can fall off the model. But when you build that power, when you go from identical to variable to general, it's slower regeneration because ProE is doing a little more thinking. In an identical pattern, it really is saying, okay, this is the geometry I've got, and I'm just going to duplicate that exact geometry. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. In a general pattern, it's actually regenerating each instance and doing a little sanity test as it goes along. Well, let's see what kind of a difference this can make in Creo Parametric. Here's a part right here. It's a simple plate, a simple cut in it. I've got it zoomed in so you can see it. Let's jump back a little bit. I'm going to grab that feature. I'm going to pattern it. We'll go in two directions. Pretty simple thing. We're not going to do anything terribly fancy. Let's go a second direction. And let's fill up this plate with that pattern. Now by default, the pattern option is always set to general. Now the reason that is, is when you're creating a pattern, Creo Parametric doesn't understand at all, okay, are these things going to hit each other? And they want to build in the most power ahead of time so you'll have the least likely problem. So let's kind of flip out the stopwatch here and see what kind of a time we get. Let's say go. Yeah, it's not terribly slow, but it's thinking it over. Got a little bit of time there. What it's doing is deciding each time it makes an instance, okay, uh, is anything hitting each uh, another instance? Is something running off the model? Is there any interference, interference at all? So it's doing all that kind of math. So while not earth shattering, you can see this is taking a little bit of time. So we're bumping up on eh, 30, 45 seconds. We should be under a minute by the time it's all said and done. But you come with a Jeopardy theme, don't you think? All right, so created the pattern of that uh, cutout. Fine, nothing exotic, nothing earth shattering there. Let's see what happens to the same geometry if we do an identical pattern. We'll grab that same feature. Go the same directions, same number of instances. Let's go a second direction, just like we did before. Fill up the plate. One last thing we're going to do now is we're going to say, instead of going with that general, let's go identical. Because I know all of these things are geometrically the same. I know they're not going to hit each other. I know they're not going to run off the model. Now let's see how long this takes. 45 seconds versus what, about two seconds? Now, a lot of times when people run into problems where they say, really, I'm, I'm having terrible problems regenerating large assemblies, a lot of times that boils out to regenerating a lot of little models that make up that assembly. So if you're having problems with regeneration on parts or with patterns especially, take a look at that option and see if going from general to identical can save you some time.